How's it going guys? Today on Knife Bander, we have got Seth from Wee Sabibi. How you doing, Seth? Doing fantastic. Okay, so you brought us some really cool stuff that's going to be coming out through the rest of this year. Correct. Correct. This is our fall release, so everything okay. that's going to be available kind of from, uh, say, July through December. Right. And we missed you at Blade Show. Uh, we were trying to get an interview about crunch time. We lost we lost track of so some time. Timed. I know, <laughs> right? It was uh, your guys' booth was crazy. It was it was wild. Yeah. But we're glad we have you here in the studio. Uh, show us what's cool. You what's bet. new? Let's do it. Let's do some Wii product. Awesome. Um, we've got uh, a few new designs, some new collaborations, and a couple accessories to show you. Cool. Um, let's start out with one of the brand new collaborations. We've never done anything with them before, but this is an Alan Elishowitz collaboration with Wii. Okay. Um, we're really excited about this design. Are you ready to go crazy? You got one there. I've I got. Uh, I've got a uh, Tanto recurve version. And you've got the drop point version there. I like it. This this new design actually went over really well at the show. That's one of the things that I, I loved about the show and showing these things there is we get all kinds of customer feedback right away. Right. Um, people were digging on this design. Um, it's extremely versatile. We've got 20 CV in the steel. We've got titanium. We've got some layered G10. Um, I do like the detail with the layered G10. Yeah. Like on this one, it's like this maroon red, but it's black underneath. It's really cool aesthetic. Absolutely, and I love the way the um, pivot collar matches oh, yeah. the layer oh, yeah. of the G10. It's easier to see on this blue. Yeah, on the blue one, for sure. Where you've got that uh, that highlight there. That's so cool. It's, it makes that the titanium with the G10 really, really well. So, yeah, um, makes it pop. This, this, design, uh, this design, Alan uh, designed this to be uh, a super functional, everyday, um, tactical-ish knife. And it's got that backspacer in the back, the titanium backspacer that you know, protrudes out the base there to be an impact tool right there, impact edge. Uh, so yeah, I mentioned 20 CV on the steel. It's gonna be available in a few different colors. These are only prototypes right here, so I don't know exactly what colors are gonna come out okay. when, we, when we launch it. Um, I believe there's gonna be an all blacked out version and then a couple of other colors. So uh, super exciting new collaboration here. The pocket clip on this one is gonna be reversible. It's gonna come with two pocket clips so that it will maintain that, uh, that uh, oh, the curve, curve. Yeah, nice. on both sides of the knife. Um, flipping action is awesome with that fuller on there. You can get a middle finger flip as well. Oh yeah. Oh no! So, oh yeah. Oh yeah! Dude, honestly, I, I really like this knife. Um, it's cool. I love that you guys are bringing in Elishowitz as a designer. This is what I love right here though. The backspacer is the impact tool, yeah. but that tip of the blade goes all the way to the end of the G10 scales, guys. It's got this little cut in where the blade, you get that extra eighth of an inch or whatever, yeah. you know? And, and honestly, having a longer blade goes a long ways. Yep, so we're looking at uh, late this year for a release on this guy. What else you got? I got a new collaboration with Ostapel. This is called the Arsenal. We're looking at another 20 CV with titanium and G10. Um, similar, similar materials as Alan's design, but uh, completely different uh, style and, and look to it. We've got the cutouts in the blade. We've got Ostap's traditional uh, or typical kind of notch in the top of the handle there. Um, some generous oh, jimping yeah. across the top of the blade. Nice tanto blade. Yeah. Um, good cutting edge on this. Nice and long. The little cutout right here. Mm -hmm. That's actually really cool. Uh, so this is just my thoughts instantly off of this, just this part that it's got this cutaway is when you grab right here and you press your thumb, your thumb wraps more around the jimping yeah. and you're able to get a really good grab there with just the pat of my thumb. Plus you guys, titanium G10, you guys are doing it right. I really think this pocket clip is cool because it's an ambi pocket clip, has a tiny little uh, impact glass breaker, yep. but that goes deep all the way up and it's nice and slim. It's good looking. I like the ramp on it too. 
Um, this is this is like a pocket saver clip, you know. <laughs> yes. The the way that that has that full ramp um, to uh, to get into your pocket there. Um, no screws on the inside there to rip up your jeans or anything like that. And like you said, you can flip it around either the side. Um, the way that it comes off the back, you don't have anything kind of uh, messing up the look on that show side either. Right. So it still looks really good. Um, I like the the way that the G10 on this model wraps around the back oh, of the handle. Yeah. So you, yeah, you can see it a lot. Maybe easier on the this version that's the the titanium with the green. But it's got some cutouts in the top of the G10 on the handle there, and it just gives it a really nice feel. And then the machining in the G10 just matches up perfectly with the design in the titanium there where it meets at the bottom. So again, the attention to detail and the fit and finish of these knives is just, is just incredible. Um, similar thing where, uh, to Alan's knife where we've got that colored G10 pivot collar. Yeah, the collar. Well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I am not seeing a seam in the G10 from one side to the other. That's correct. It wraps around it. I, I don't so know. So it's you... almost like a cuff. It just comes in. Yeah. There's no seam. That's cool. And I like how it it comes in on the titanium, but you still get this titanium uh, forward piece where you're mm -hmm. wrapping your hands. Starting on the cer ceramic ball bearings, uh, just like everything else, your action is super smooth. Butter. Really nice. And these that we're showing you, are, these these are in the two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollar range. Cool is uh, where they're going to hit um, when they come out. Um, next, now you have a couple tools, a couple toys, I should say, that I don't have. So you've got this knife. I do, I do. I've got a new um, front flipping, thumb flipping uh, knife from Tyrell Todd. I get it. I, I can't. I can't get it out of my head. He spent the whole week with us at the uh, Blade Show. Um, Todd Knife and Tool is the name of his company. Okay. Um, and Terrell Todd was with us helping out at the show, and this is his design. <laughs> That's a lot of T's right there. Terrell Todd and to make it work, and Todd Ter Terrell Todd and Tool. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Terrell. Sorry, Terrell. It's a mouthful. He's got a sweet new design um, collaboration with We Knife. This is the Roxy Three. Um, I'm going to pass this over to you so that you can take a look at it. Oh, uh, would you look at that? You well, got under? Wheel, yeah, look at that. Look at that. But uh, it's a, it's got the thumb hole in the blade, so you can open it to, like a, with your thumb hole. It's got the front flipper and um, all titanium and 20 CV. Um, what I love about their designs is the, the way that they make build the lines on this on this thing and, and on that lock side of the knife. It's just beautiful. There's so much detail. Yeah. This is one of those pieces that you could sit here and stare at this knife for an hour. And you're just catching all the details from the milling lines and the pivot collar. Ah, oh, dude, the holes right here, the little cutouts on yeah. the backspacer. Back super, super intricate. A lanyard hole that you can actually see cut through the backspacer. It's really cool. No that, pocket clip. And that lanyard hole matches up with like the holes on the front, so it all just like looks good together. Like oh, I said, you, yeah, every time you here, look at it, it's like you see here, something new. Here. Yeah, it's got good aggressive jimping, um, especially for such a thick stock blade. I think yeah. it's nice to have that. You know, it's burly. It's, it's burly, burly jimping. It really is. Yeah. It really is. It's thick jimping. You're not gonna. You're not gonna lose that purchase when you push forward on your thumb. I love the brass mm -hmm. anodized hardware. Gives it that little glint of flavor. A little bit, yeah. It's it's kind of like an industrial looking knife, yet classy. Yeah. It's great design, great design by Todd Knife and Tool. And honestly, the thumb hole works so well. Yeah. And it's great action, great detent. Let's see, index. Oh yeah, nailed it. Love it. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of accessories now. So those are the those are the knives that are coming out now. I, I should let you know that once in a while, we likes to surprise us with a couple of models that we haven't seen before. Like, for example, uh, there is another limited edition that's going to be coming out, uh, hitting dealers in July that no one has seen yet, and that's going to come out. So it, it's it's always fun uh, and exciting. Let's look at let's look at this one right here. Um, this right here is another Ostap Hill design. Um, we have a bunch of stuff between we and Civivi. He, he 
threw out a bunch of new designs for us um, this uh, this last half of the year. Right. This little guy is full of premium materials, just a little neck knife, um, a little piece of um, M390 steel um, in a titanium handle. Yeah, it, it's like <laughs> a pinch. disc. It's a yeah, little, a little disc. pinch knife. Yeah. Um, we've got a carbon fiber sheath for it, and it's magnetized, so it just pops right up in there. It gives you just enough blade, you know, when you, if you're wearing that daily to just open it up, slice open a box, whatever. So I was actually wearing this before we started for about 20 minutes, and uh, it's not annoying. I feel like a lot of like... <laughs> neck knives or, or uh, you know, dog tag knives, little pendant knives mm -hmm. like this. They get annoying because it ends up being really heavy, but with the titanium and the carbon fiber, it's light. Yeah, it's, I'd put it's it in small my enough, shirt, small but enough. I wouldn't want to give it back to you after it's, <laughs> yeah. It's cool. M390, really? Really, really? A little slab of M390. It's got a compound grind in there. It's it's a cool little piece. This guy is gonna this guy's gonna run about a hundred bucks. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. It, it, it is. It's a cute little piece. Um, it's going to be coming out within the next month or two. That one's coming out pretty soon. Oh, man. I just, like, got it caught on everything in my face. That's a chore getting that up around the beard. I know. It's, the beard, the hat, the everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude, that thing's cool, man. That's It's nice. I, I love these little, it's just this little tiny package of premium materials. Yeah, that's cool. It is definitely unique like and, it. and interesting. I like that magnet. Cool little knickknacks. All right, the backless pen. Oh, man. I've got one of those. Um, are you going to be able to focus in like a... I, I mean, I don't know how you focus in a meeting if you've got one of these in your hands. Are you kidding me? This whole top, guys, spins. And inside the cage right here, it looks very much like a king's crown. Yeah, or like a chess piece, like or, it was mentioned earlier. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. like a chess piece. But inside, you've got that little wee medallion in there that spins around. A little so, disc with a logo on it. So satisfying. This is all titanium. Um, we're, we're talking about the the action. You know, when when we make stuff, we pay attention to the action, right? Right. And and there's a bolt action on this pen, and it needs to be right. It needs to be nice. Just like the action on a knife. Okay, so I was nerding out about this right before we started. This, uh, the bolt action being able to go left or right is so nice because it's, you don't have to think of going down and over to one side. You can just drop your thumb down and it goes where it, the momentum, it just gets yeah. carried. And then all you gotta do is, you know, it's a light tap. The way that the, uh, the little, um channel is cut there when you from the what, exposed position to yeah. the closed position you just knock that back into the center and it, and it flips right back up for you so it's, it's a great action on the pen plus i have a hard time with a lot of pens guys because some of them are so thick and so heavy this one is not at all and it's small enough this feels like a normal pen in my hand Yep. Plus, I can't wait to get one of these in my pocket and go to my next meeting and just... I guarantee I'll get in trouble. They'll be like, Kurt, you need to stop. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Maybe, maybe it's uh, better for your work from home office. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, it's cool. I love awesome. that you guys bring awesome knives and great materials great action but you guys also have fun things like this yep. I love it yep I, I like it too um, I've got a I've got a video that I'm gonna do pretty soon on our channel that's gonna be the not a knife video you know just to, just to yeah. highlight a few of the little items that we have no, there's not a ton but enough to keep it interesting oh for sure I think it's cool plus yeah. everybody wants something sick in their pocket dump and this titanium pen is next level absolutely that's cool that's all I brought today from Wii. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming on. And uh, I know you guys love the Wii content. 
Make sure you jump on the website if you're interested in these. Now these are coming out throughout the rest of the year. So keep an eye out and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. What's up guys, welcome to the end screen. If you guys like the knives that we talked about today, jump over to bladehq.com. Also like, subscribe, and check out the playlist down below.